like I feel I feel a lot of pressure to keep up with everything because like there's so many social networks out there. Like first it was like MySpace. I'm like MySpace. That's cool. Yeah. Then YouTube comes along. I'm like awesome. I love cat videos. <laughs> then Facebook. I'm like brilliant. I get to share photos with my friends. Then Twitter, which is like 140 characters only. I'm like it's a bit stressful, but it seems like fun. Then LinkedIn, which is only for the corporate world. Then Tumblr, I'm like, what does microblogging even mean, guys? <laughs> then Pinterest and Instagram, which are originally photos only. Then Vine and Vimeo, which is video only. Then Google Plus, I still don't understand how to use like Hangouts and Circles. And then Snapchat, which just sounds dirty, right? <laughs> it's confusing. And for you guys in customer service, that's just like network after network that offers more and more places for customers to get online to whinge and whine, right? <laughs> Do you know, I did have something like very, very cool happen the other day. On Facebook, my grandfather got on and he's 85, like 85. How awesome is that? It was so cute. Like he was online and I get this little friend request from him. And I'm like, oh my God, grandpa, adorable, but deny. <laughs> Yeah, I can't have that on my profile. <laughs> like, I get that he's family and I feel a little bit of guilt, but no way in hell. If someone saw I was Facebook friends with Grandpa, I would die of embarrassment. Plus, I swear, if he was to ever poke me, I would be like, get away, old man, get away. I also, I love LinkedIn. I spend a lot of time on LinkedIn, but I get very frustrated. Because it's a professional network, yet people act in the most unprofessional ways. Like, they lie on their profiles, they create companies that don't exist, and they get recommended for skills that they don't have. Actually, now that I've said it all out loud, it kind of mirrors the corporate world to a T. <laughs> Doesn't it? Mostly, though, I get annoyed with the whole endorsement thing, because I know that I don't have as many as I should have. And then I see all these other people with ones that you just know are fake. I'm like, really, Nick? He-Man endorsed you as master of the universe? I'm like, mate, I got that three weeks ago. There can't be two of us. But like, it happens to me all the time too. Like the other day I was endorsed for like being considerate. I'm like, well, clearly they don't know me very well. You know, I spend a lot of time on social media and I love Facebook. It's my favorite social network. And I can't help it, I'm sucked in. I'm totally sucked in because Facebook is really powerful. Like, I'm surprised it didn't happen in this election, but I reckon by the next election, Facebook likes are gonna take on more value than ballot votes. <laughs> it's gonna be like, the Liberal Party posted their 12-month tax strategy. It's gonna lead to a large amount of surplus. But the Labor Party posted a picture of a kitten in a tiny Christmas jumper. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> the internet's changed everything, right? Like, the pecking order of things are just different. Like, not long ago, everyone wanted to be a leader. Now, everyone's just happy to be a follower. <laughs> These days, it's better to join a trend online than set a trend in the real world. And the nerds are the powerful ones. Like, we put such massive dorks like Mark Zuckerberg on such high pedestals that I honestly don't even know which guys are hot anymore. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I see Brad Pitt over there with his shirt off. He looks good, but... Check out that skinny pale guy in the corner building a new app. Oh, I can imagine what he can do with his JavaScript. 